Hi, my artist. So today, what we're going to work on is a kimono. So a kimono is a type of basically dress that you would see in Japan. Okay, they were also seen in China, but um, they're mostly seen in Japan now. So we're studying Japan still because Japan is a country in Asia. Um, and that's what we're working on right now is the Asia unit. So this is my example that I've started, but I haven't finished yet. Okay, um, I've started decorating it at the bottom, but I have to decorate the entire kimono. So a kimono is basically like a robe that some people in um, the U.S. wear. I have one on here sometimes if it's really cold. They are T-shaped, so that means when you're wearing one, if you put your arms out straight, you would look like a T. Okay, um, they are typically a silky material, and they can be pretty cheap. To very expensive um, they can range up into the thousands of dollars depending on how nice of a kimono it is um, typically now they are just worn on special occasions but it used to be an everyday outfit in Japan even worn by men and children okay um, looking at it it looks like the left side is underneath the right side but actually when you're wearing it the left side wraps over the right Okay, so if we pretend that you're wearing it, your head would be here, your left hand would be here, your right hand would be here, and the left wraps over the right. Okay, so I'm going to show you some examples of a kimono, and then we are going to work on drawing our own version of a kimono. Okay, so if you notice, normally they are floral patterns. You see your flowers here. But if you don't like flowers, you could do something like this, polka dot, stripes, you could add animals to yours. You could even do just some simple um, colors, okay, you could do blacks and whites. Here's some children in kimonos. So there's a few different examples. There's some more children. And if you look at theirs, they are um, like this one's mostly purple, this one's mostly pink, and they just have patterns in a few areas. So if you want to do that with yours, you can. Okay. Um, and then I searched just some patterns that might give you some ideas. This is the one that I'm basing mine off. Here's a few different examples. So after we've gone over how to make, like draw out your kimono, you can always come back here and get ideas if you need them. Okay, I think all of those are very beautiful. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and stop, and I will go ahead and show you how to draw yours, okay? So I'm going to show you two different ways. So you try out or watch um, and see which way you think you can make your kimono. Okay. So like I said, they are T-shaped. I'm going to start with my pencil. So I may have to go back over it um, just so you all can see it. But I want to start with my pencil in case I mess up. So your kimono, if your arms were straight out, it would be like a T pattern. So if you wanted to do that, you could draw a T. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it a uppercase T. So we're going to do kind of like it's a bold letter. Okay. And then we'll do our line coming down. And that would be the body. Now, what we have to do from here is make a few adjustments. You might need to make your arms a little bit longer. Okay. You would need to make your V for where your neck would be at. And then what you would need to do is go back and erase those lines you don't need. So if you're like me and you messed up in a few places, you can erase them. And then you would also erase where that V is for your neckline. Okay. Let's 
so just like that and that would be your kimono and you would have lots of rooms to decorate on there okay and we're going to erase this line here so it actually looks like one piece okay now i'm going to use my marker and go back over that so you can see it very clearly what i want you to have okay All right, so there would be your kimono, and like I said, you'd have lots of room to decorate it, okay? Now, for your other one, if you want it to look like mine, what you would do is we're going to do two lines for the body. So basically, we're making a big rectangle. Oops. Let me scoot it over just a little bit. So... I'm actually going to flip my paper upside down so I have just a little bit more room for my arms and shoulders and so you all can see it better. Alright, so I would do a line down, a line down. I'm doing my best to keep it straight even though it curves a little bit. I'm going to connect to the bottom and then what I would do from here is I'm going to do a line on each side go just a little bit above this line. Okay, so it's a little bit longer and then what I'll do is I would curve it over just like that okay and I would erase any part that I don't need I'm going to try and make that as smooth as I can and then this is when you would get to have the left side overlap the right. So we would come down from right here, go all the way to this line. Okay, and we do the same thing a little bit further down. So it kind of looks like a sash right now. And then we can come over here to the other side and do the same thing. Do a line that comes here. That's not going to cross over going to stop right at the top and then we're going to do another line right below it okay now we need to close up our sleeves and I'm going to go ahead and add a belt okay now is when you get to decorate it okay so I'm going to go ahead and stop and I'll get mine, my other one that I started and work on it, okay? So there are our two kimonos. You can have your T-shape or your kimono like I made, okay? So I showed you some patterns. Here's mine that I'm working on. So I've got my markers that I'm using. 